what is going on everyone hope you guys are having a wonderful day today is tuesday and i have been busy all day this video is coming out late i'm filming this video tuesday afternoon so i apologize if you didn't have your lunchtime video to watch i'm gonna do my best to get caught back up and get you videos uh at minimum every day this week if not by wednesday back on the uh the standard noon videos but hope you guys are having a great week so far uh like i said today's tuesday so you got the hardest day of the week down and uh, we are just as steve would say plugging and chugging along so i do want to say one thing i do read all the comments uh, i don't respond to nearly as many as i should because i normally i like as i hate to say it but i'm driving and i look at a comment and I don't want to text and drive, so I don't respond, and then I forget about it, so, uh, but I do read almost every single comment, and uh, I do want to just say on the last video, uh, we are going to talk about brown sugar, we are going to go over that, but uh, everyone's like, dude, yeah, how can you not put C-Clip Eliminators in the car? We didn't build the car, we, like, we didn't build the car, like, we were just out there running it, a guy is supposed to come and buy it this Friday, I've seen people, like, beefing at each other's throat, saying, oh, well, he has a buyer, no, he doesn't buy it. like, y'all don't know everything, uh, but... Um, we knew the rear was a weak point. Uh, as of now, I have a bunch of strange engineering parts on the way. Uh, simple fix. I got some uh, upgraded axles, C-clip eliminators, and a spool. So, uh, crisis averted. Everyone could settle down. Uh, it didn't break an axle. It broke like everything inside the rear end, uh, but the axles. Because, but being that it was a C-clip rear end, uh, yeah, yeah, I saw what happened. It was. It was okay. We're all good. Everyone, calm down. Settle down. Uh, I didn't. I didn't kill anyone with a C-clip, nor did I kill anyone with a C-clip eliminator. Just everyone, relax. Take some deep breaths behind the computer. If you guys were the guys that were just human, it's okay. Uh, but I do have some good news. So that's the bad news. The bad news is y'all are all fired up because we had a little c-clip action uh which literally never hurts anyone at least at least me you guys have been commenting a lot about the salted chicken we want the salted chicken build we want the salted chicken build i'm working with the guys at texas speed on a power plant we're going to try to do some stock block stuff see how fast we can go um but but the big thing is ecu what are we going to run for the ecu and i am a holly guy you guys know that oh my god what was that i'm a holly guy at this point till I die. I'm not really a big fan of fuel tech. I just think the Holly stuff for me is easier. I understand it better. Um, the basic stuff. Uh, some things that I needed, I obviously need a wiring harness. I need a dash. Uh, I need a computer. I need, I just need a lot of little things. As you guys know, I'm a big shopper for Facebook deals, you could say, whether it's Turbo Bullet, whether it's local stuff. I'm always looking for a deal uh, because people have a lot of nice stuff that they sell they don't need anymore and they need to get rid of. So. I was actually sitting there and someone met, one of my boys messaged me and said, hey, you see this deal, one of my buddies from Fayetteville is selling all this stuff. Uh, so Austin, you guys have probably seen his car in some of the videos. It's like a, a blue Mustang LS swap thing, absolutely flies. Uh, it's a turbo LS, I don't even know what year it is. It's like, it's an old, I think it's like a 60, I don't know. I'm not even gonna say it because I don't know about Mustangs. But he, one of his buddies, he was helping him work on his car. He had a bunch of Holly stuff on the car and he took it off in. And I say it is a smoking deal. It is a smoking deal. So what we have here is I got a Holly seven inch dash. This is the exact same dash as what we have in the black sheep. Uh, something I know works, something I like. I don't need the big 12 and a half inch. This is all I need. Uh, monitor simple things, be able to, to look at, you know, oil pressure, fuel pressure, RPM, and that's pretty much it. That's all I really look at during the pass. I don't care about boost. I can go back, data log. I don't need that to data log. I need this. Uh, so this is a Holly HP. This is not the Dominator, as you guys can tell by the size. It's just a little guy. This, this thing's kind of cute compared to the Dominator. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be keeping this. I am actually going to be selling this one to Brad. So you guys know Brad. You see Bradski rolling around. Uh, he has a 240Z. That's a drag car. It's a back half car that he's going to be doing a build on. And he wants to run the HP. I'm looking to run Dominator because I'm going to run things like air shifter, boost control. Uh, I want to run all my lights through. I want to run a bunch of stuff through the Holly. Uh, so he wants the, the HP for what he's doing. So I'm giving this to him on a smoking deal. And then this is the Holly 58X harness and what this is this is tied in with a bunch of stock stuff um this is like a factory fuse block they're running fuel pumps through it they run a bunch of factory style stuff through it so i said you know what just give me the whole thing we'll cut out what we need and we'll get rid of what we don't want but i mean i got oh hell i even got the wide band there too uh, i got a bunch of little things with a gps speed sensor i mean that's kind of cool so i uh, picked this up smoking deal um i'm in 
once I sell this to Brad, I'm only going to be in $750 for a harness and a dash. The dash retails for like $860 and the harness is like another $430. So I'm pretty happy with that deal. It's something I need. Do I need it right now the way the build is? No, I need to get the chassis stuff done, but I've been slowly building up. I already have my fuel pump. I got my regulator. I got my filter. I got the wheels and tires. The chassis is almost done. I got a steering wheel, quick connect. Uh, steering column. I, I got, I've been building up trying to get as much stuff as possible. So this is just another step. So all I really need to do is there's a lot of little things you need for the boost control with the Holly, but I just need to get a dominator and I got an engine harness and I got the dash. That's like the three main things I want to get out of the way. The dominator is quite expensive though. So I'm going to be looking around for a deal on that. But I'm super excited because I this is now I'm, I'm stuck with the Holly. I'm dedicated. I say I'm stuck with it. I'm kind of happy I'm stuck with it. But now I am 100% going with the Holly stuff. So it's on me now to get the chassis done. That will be going to Brazzles as soon as the Silverback Z06 gets done. So Jason has been getting some parts together for the Silverback Z06. Once he gets that all done, we are going to get the salted chicken over there. He's going to do the cage work and change that up a bit. But much needed parts for the salty chicken uh we got uh, i still i'm gonna say this is mine for the thumbnail at least we got you know some holly efi stuff and uh, the dash i'm excited about the dash they make this sweet billet bracket that goes right on the steering column because i don't think i want to run an actual like carbon fiber or fiberglass dash i'm going to run no dash so that is going to be sick i'm, I'm very excited about that uh, well, let's get inside let's look at brown sugar let's see what we are going on and um so we're going to see what we got going on today. All right. So the salt chicken, I got a bunch of junk for, as you guys can see, just throughout it. Um, probably can ditch the doors. I'm looking for a carbon fiber roof. If someone has a carbon fiber hard top for sale that's not retail. They're like, I, I just missed one. They had one for $800 on Turbo Bullet, and I hesitated, and uh, it ended up going for like 600 bucks. They retail for like 1900 I don't know what I was thinking, because I'm definitely looking to ditch the T-tops. We're looking to do some doors on it as well. Lexan windows, Optic Armor front and back. I mean, we're looking to, to deck it out pretty nice. Um, that is the cowl delete thing for it. Someone looks like, it looks like someone cut my box out. Um, but yeah, that's the, the cowl delete. Here's my stuff for the fuel pump. The fuel pump is actually on Chris's car for mock-up. Um, God, what else? There's just a bunch of stuff. Oh, TRZ steering column. Um, PA Racing K member, Rock Solid Motorsports front end. I, I, I'm pretty happy with where we are with right now because I feel like it's got a bunch of really nice things on it. Uh, I'm just ready for it to all come together. And I'm also looking for a, a one piece front end. I want to do a one piece front end on it because I think that'd be sick. Um, I'd like to keep this also, and you know, if I have to do like put this on there, if they say like no one piece front ends, then I can slap that on there. But I think that'd just be cool. Um, yeah, so that's, that's Salty Chicken. I'm really trying my best to get this build underway and going because uh, I know you guys really want to see it. So that's what we have going on with that. If we move over here to the Cow Marrow, uh, pretty exciting news here. Uh, I'm just going to put some supports on the wastegate dump so they don't break again. Uh, move the exhaust slightly back, just like uh, a quarter of an inch, and then we're going to be good to go. New converter! on the way. Uh, we got a converter coming in on Thursday from the guys down at Cameron Converters. Uh, they're down in South Carolina. They make a bunch of badass stuff. They're going to be helping us with a converter in the Black Sheep. But I do have a new one on the way. It will be here Thursday. So today's Tuesday. So I got one day of waiting then we'll have it in our hands. I don't know if it'll be ready for the racetrack. It'll probably be unlikely, but we are hopefully done with the converter issues. Hopefully that's one and done. Uh, if we go over here, we got brown sugar just chilling. Like I said before, I got some strange components on the way. Uh, other than that, I think we're, we're pretty up to date. Oh, it's got some badass cookies right here. One bite. God, my mom is going to be so annoyed when she watches this video and just she watches me eat a cookie in one bite. Uh, the shop is a mess right now. We're going to get it all cleaned up, make it nice and neat. Uh, we can get some cars out of here and uh, really get to work. Uh, we're going to be heading up to TCAM tomorrow. Uh, so if I, if I do get the chance to film up there, I will. But those guys put in so much work and are grinding. I'd hate to mess up their workflow. But if they do have a moment to film, I definitely will because it's, it's a badass place. They're doing badass work. Um, the Hemi is up there getting repairs to it. Chris's engine is almost done. We're waiting on a camshaft for that. I'm about to bring like two or three more motors up there. We got, I got a bunch of stuff that needs to get done. So, yeah, that's where we are at. Um, that's kind of an update. 
Salted chicken build is almost back to 100% underway. As once it goes to Brazzle shop, I mean, it's on like Donkey Kong. So go over and follow Jason Brazzle. I'll link him here. And drop like a comment on his last video, or his last video. Drop a comment on his last picture and be like, yo, dude, you need to hammer out the LS Nasty Crew stuff so we can see more racing videos. So here's his Instagram. Go over there and comment and just blow him up. Like, I want to see like 200 comments on his last post. Uh, just, just really, just fire him up. He'll be like, what is this? Uh, but Jason's a good dude. He's one of my close friends and... Uh, does some badass work so that's all we got going on in the shop here today again i'm sorry for the late upload but i've just been busy i've been busy as hell uh, we are making strides huge strides on this mobile vision stuff which i have been pretty quiet about and here in the near future we are going to release it i'm hoping within the next two weeks or so and when that comes out that is literally going to be a game changer uh, and i'm super excited about it so if you don't already follow mobile vision on instagram also, if you guys are in this like southeast region uh, and you are interested in doing storm work, I know I have a bunch of people signed up, but let me know. We need to have a, not just a diesel truck, it could be a, a gas truck, but it's got to be eight lug. It's got to be a 2500 or 3500 or 4500 truck. Um, and you got to have a pinnel hitch and you can't be an idiot. You just got to use your common sense and you can make some pretty good money uh, in a short amount of time. We pay pretty well. It's not too difficult of a job. Um, but yeah, so uh, my email is in the description below. You can email me if you're inquiring about any storm work. Uh, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Like always, comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload. Oh, also, we got a sale on some LS Nasty stuff. If you use the access code JETSKI, uh, it gets you free shipping. So go over and get your LS Nasty merch. I just got a ton of stuff back in stock, so go and get that stuff out. Uh, if you ordered stuff a while ago and haven't got it, I apologize. UPS lost a bunch of packages I had sent out. Or USPS, sorry, not UPS. Um, Rome, it wasn't you, it wasn't your people. But go and check that stuff out. Also, a new video up on the LS Nasty YouTube channel. We just got a million things going on around here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like always, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload.